I have to start right off. I always think I know enough about dance history, but I was shocked to learn that this dance, the Lindy Hop, started in Harlem. I, you know, I knew about it, especially from the, the mid 90s resurgence, but why isn't there more awareness about this? That's what we're trying to tell people in our movie. This is a dance that came from Harlem, and Norma Miller is one of the original dancers from the Savoy Ballroom in Harlem. I think that when the resurgence came back in the 90s, people didn't realize, they didn't look up the history, they, you know, and it's important that we know where it came from so we can celebrate it, that we can spread it. But yeah, I mean, Norma Miller, who grew up in Harlem in the backyard of the Savoy Ballroom, she would open up her window and hear the music coming in. I was sitting on the fire escape. On the fire escape. Can you imagine being, growing up like that, listening to that kind of incredible music? Yeah, that's amazing. It is amazing. And can you tell me sort of uh, what it was like at that time to be part of a movement? That... There was no movement. It was the music that was changing in America. Jazz was changing from Dixieland, coming into big band sound, and that began the new sound, and that was how the dance evolved. There was no movement. It was a dance that was left from one side, and here was a place where people can come together and dance. And they had the greatest music in the world at the time. No one knew it was the greatest music in the world. It was something that made you feel good. But it was a new sound that was coming to America. I imagine Beethoven was turning over in his grave. <laughs> But, but I think what's so wonderful about that, you know, you, you talk about no matter how bad you felt, this was a place where everyone could gather. You're talking about the fact that there were black people who were depressed. Because remember, it was a black era mm -hmm. in Harlem, mm -hmm. which was a very depressed area, and they did not feel the depression. That's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that. Everybody had the depression. The Savoy was the release. It's like the, the pressure cooker. Hmm. Yeah. And the pressure cooker yeah. was, we had Chick Webb, and who was the singer who created the sound? Ella Fitzgerald. We heard her every night. This was a phenomenal of what two people coming together. One was the singer, one was the band. They were the house band in the Savoy. You know, and you make a good point. I feel like now, especially looking at the documentary, we're in a time of unrest, um, and this makes a lot of sense as well. Dance always makes sense um, as part of emotion, mental, physical health. Why do you think right now is the perfect time for people to really understand what Lindy Hop is? Well, I think that the timing is perfect. And in some ways, we need the dance now as much as we needed it in the Depression and during the war because we're so... Um, factionalized as a country and we're so distrustful of our neighbors or people who live in a different state and we get online and we look at comments of anonymous people out there and when you dance you turn off your phone you turn off your computer and you go to a place and you physically meet other people and you have human connections and you touch in acceptable fun ways and you listen to music that transports you a cell phone, a smartphone, I mean, it's great, I mean, it does a lot of things, it's not gonna swing you out. And, and if you get a good swing out, that'll make you a lot happier than any app that you can find today. Can you imagine talking to Lindy Hopper talking about an app and <laughs> Facebook? Yeah. It's a new era for us. We don't even know what you're talking about. Well, yeah. what is the dance community getting right about Lindy Hopper right now? The dance community now has become the swing community. Swing is a social dance. We had, a Lin Lindy Hop was a different era. You got to separate the two. Today's dancers just swing dance, which was the greatest social dance there is on the ballroom floor today. It's the one thing that two people can do and coordinate together. But it has nothing to do with anything to do with politics or anything else. It's something you can enjoy. Plus, our music is the best music in the world, even today's standard, because today's standard is four guitars, keyboard, and drums. Can you swing to that? There you go, and that's what the music that you hear every night on television and on the internet. Now, that, none of that music has anything to do with dancing because it's not danceable. The only swing music you have is the big band sounds left over from the 40s and the 50s.
So what would you like the legacy to be then? Um, we already have the legacy. We've handed it down to four generations. Are they doing it right though? Are they carrying it on? Of course they are. The dancers today are as good as when we were, and we were the best. And you've got dancers today that's just as good. They don't swing as good, but they are just as good.